UCC 1002.2 UCC Definitions This version is the current regulation. View all versions of this regulation. Search this regulation. For the purposes of this part, unless the context indicates otherwise. Or as otherwise defined in subpart B, the following definitions apply. A. Account means an extension of credit. When employed in relation to an account, the word use refers only to open-end credit. B. Act means the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, Title 7 of the Consumer Credit Protection Act. C. Adverse Action. Official Interpretation of 2. C. Adverse Action. 1. The term means. I. A refusal to grant credit in substantially the amount or on. Substantially the terms requested in an application unless the creditor makes a counteroffer to grant credit in a different amount or on other terms and the applicant uses or expressly accepts the credit offered. Official interpretation of paragraph 2, C, 1, I. 2. A termination of an account or an unfavorable change in the terms of an account that does not affect all or substantially all of a class of the creditor's accounts, or official interpretation of paragraph 2, c, 1, 2. 3. A refusal to increase the amount of credit available to an applicant who has made an application for an increase. 2. The term does not include i. A change in the terms of an account expressly agreed to by an applicant. 2. Any action or forbearance relating to an account taken in Connection with inactivity, default, or delinquency as to that. Account. Official interpretation of paragraph 2, c, 2, 2. 3. A refusal or failure to authorize an account transaction at. Point of sale or loan, except when the refusal is a termination or an. Unfavorable change in the terms of an account that does not affect all. Or substantially all of a class of the creditor's accounts, or when. The refusal is a denial of an application for an increase in the amount of credit available under the account. Official interpretation of paragraph 2, c, 2, 3. 4. A refusal to extend credit because applicable law prohibits the creditor from extending the credit requested, or v. A refusal to extend credit because the creditor does not offer the type of credit or credit plan requested. Official interpretation of paragraph 2, c, 2, v. 3, an action that falls within the definition of both paragraphs. c, 1, and c, 2, of this section is governed by paragraph, c, 2, of. This section. d, age refers only to the age of natural persons and means the number. Of fully elapsed years from the date of an applicant's birth. e, Applicant means any person who requests or who has received an extension of credit from a creditor, and includes any person who is or may become contractually liable regarding an extension of credit. 4. Purposes of Section 1002.7, d, the term includes guarantors, sureties, endorsers, and similar parties. Official interpretation of 2, e, applicant. F. Application means an oral or written request for an extension of credit that is made in accordance with procedures used by a creditor. For the type of credit requested, the term application does not include the use of an account or line of credit to obtain an amount of credit that is within a previously established credit limit. A. Completed application means an application in connection with which A. Creditor has received all the information that the creditor regularly obtains and considers in evaluating applications for the amount and type of credit requested, including, but not limited to, credit reports, any additional information requested from the applicant, and any approvals or reports by governmental agencies or other persons that are necessary to guarantee, ensure, or provide security for the credit or collateral. The creditor shall exercise reasonable diligence in obtaining such information. Official interpretation of 2. F. Application. 
G. Business credit refers to extensions of credit primarily for business or commercial, including agricultural, purposes, but excluding extensions of credit of the types described in 1002.3 A. Dash, D. Official interpretation of 2. G. Business credit. H. Consumer credit means credit extended to a natural person. Primarily for personal, family, or household purposes. I. Contractually liable means expressly obligated to repay all debts. Arising on an account by reason of an agreement to that effect. J. Credit means the right granted by a creditor to an applicant to defer payment of a debt, incur debt and defer its payment, or purchase property or services and defer payment therefore. Official interpretation of 2. J. Credit. K. Credit card means any card, plate, coupon book, or other single credit device that may be used from time to time to obtain money, property, or services on credit. L. Creditor means a person who, in the ordinary course of business, regularly participates in a credit decision, including setting the terms of the credit. The term creditor includes a creditor's assignee, transferee, or subrogee who so participates. For purposes of 1002.4 a and b, the term creditor also includes a person who, in the ordinary course of business, regularly refers applicants or prospective applicants to creditors or selects or offers to select creditors to whom requests for credit may be made. A person is not a creditor regarding any violation of the act or this part committed by another creditor unless the person knew or had reasonable notice of the act, policy, or practice that constituted the violation before becoming involved in the credit transaction. The term does not include a person whose only participation in a credit transaction involves honoring a credit card. Official interpretation of 2. L. Creditor. M. Credit transaction means every aspect of an applicant's dealings with a creditor regarding an application for credit or an existing extension of credit, including, but not limited to, information requirements, investigation procedures, standards of creditworthiness. Terms of credit, furnishing of credit information, revocation, alteration, or termination of credit, and collection procedures. And, discriminate against an applicant means to treat an applicant less favorably than other applicants. O, elderly means age 62 or older. P, empirically derived and other credit scoring systems. Official interpretation of 2, P, empirically derived and other credit. Scoring Systems 1. A credit scoring system is a system that evaluates an applicant's creditworthiness mechanically, based on key attributes of the applicant and aspects of the transaction, and that determines, alone, or in conjunction with an evaluation of additional information about the applicant, whether an applicant is deemed creditworthy to qualify as an empirically derived, demonstrably and statistically sound. Credit scoring system, the system must be I, based on data that are derived from an empirical comparison of sample groups or the population of creditworthy and non-creditworthy applicants who applied for credit within a reasonable preceding period of time. 2. Developed for the purpose of evaluating the creditworthiness of applicants with respect to the legitimate business interests of the creditor utilizing the system, including but not limited to minimizing bad debt losses and operating expenses in accordance with the creditor's business judgment. 3. Developed and validated using accepted statistical principles and methodology, and 4. Periodically revalidated by the use of appropriate statistical principles and methodology and adjusted as necessary to maintain predictive ability. 2. A creditor may use an empirically derived, demonstrably and statistically sound, credit scoring system obtained from another person or may obtain credit experience from which to develop such a system.